being face to face with your Creator, your Lord, your Savior, the one who loves you and knows all about you. He's a personal God concerned about you and your needs. These wilderness experiences help us understand His tender mercies, His covenant love for, you, for us in His beloved in Christ Jesus. God L. Roy, the mighty one who sees, knows everything about you, even if you have even brought some of these troubles upon yourself like I have, everybody. We all fall short of the glory. But through our own foolishness and sin, he still cares about us. He still wants us to turn to him. Nothing is a surprise to him. We have the gracious gift of repentance, which means turn from sin and turn to God. Confess your sin to him and allow him to help you in all the areas that you're struggling in in your life. This is his will for you. Also, it releases the power of sin to rule you and allows the Holy Spirit to rule and reign in your hearts. In Psalms 139, David prays, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me in my anxious thoughts and see if there is anything harmful in the way of me and lead me into the everlasting way. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will, we, will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Romans 8.32 He knows your name, where you come from, and where you're going. And he wants to bless you with assurance that he's in control from the beginning to the very end, because he's the God who sees. He watches over you, seeing and knowing all that happens and what's coming to you. He comes to you and comforts you with his wisdom, his kindness, and his gentle touch. God El Roy sees our past, our present, and our future, even before the foundation of the world. As children of the living God, our past is in the cross. Our present is walking in faith with the Holy Spirit, and our future is in His hands as we wait for His gracious return. Rely on the Holy Spirit to teach you, to guide you, knowing you are a work in progress being conformed into the very image of His Son. And ultimately, this is the Lord's goal is to change us into his character, molding us and conforming us into his image. So ask God to increase your trust in him in this season that you all now are currently in and thank him for his care and his power for bringing you through. Trust in him no matter what your circumstances are saying and keep your eyes on the one who sees all things. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, the God of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others when they are in trouble. We will be able to give them the same comfort that God has given us. Let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for your ever watchful eye upon us. Thank you, Lord, for your guidance and your comfort. Thank you, Lord, for that you see us as children of the Most High God in Christ Jesus, and we are complete in you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your great love and for your grace that carries us through. We adore you, Lord, and we rejoice and delight in you and love you with all our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for always being there when we need you, and we lack nothing. You give grace and glory, Lord. Surely your goodness is unfailing love will pursue us all the days of our lives as we live in the house of you, O oh Lord, forever. In your holy name, Jesus, I pray blessings upon these listeners. May they apply these truths of your greatness, Lord, that you are God, Elroy, who sees. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us here again at Under Grace Ministries. And I pray that you are touched by the Holy Spirit and the Word of Truth, growing to know who you are in Christ Jesus and all the rich blessings that flow to you for his glory. May the Holy Spirit fill your hearts with boldness 
and courage with strength and power to trust and to serve the Lord. May you be filled with him, enjoy him, grow in his rest as the beloved in Christ. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And may the Lord bless you and keep you as you go through this week. God bless.